Hi, welcome back. You're still tuned into Midcap Radar on CNBC TV 18. Um, steady as it goes for the markets. The Midcap index is uh, down five tenths per percent. However, we have seen some recovery from the lows. Nifty is now down 43 points, and the Midcap index now down five tenths per percent. And if we look at what's actually uh, seeing some gains as we speak, uh, Grassim should come up for you on the screen. There's HUL as well. So HUL has recovered from the lows and is uh, down, still down one tenth percent, but absolutely flat out there. We also have Indusin Bank, so that stock is batting for the bulls. So that one is up five tenths per percent as we speak. Access Bank, so. Uh, so it is really coming in from the banking names, which uh, the recovery that I am talking about on the Nifty. But this is our special segment, Midcap Spotlight. Reema, we are going to focus on a stock which we don't talk about much. It's Ratan India Enterprises. It's up 9%. What's happening here? Well, first, the latest news. Ratan India Enterprises has said that they will be acquiring 100% stake in an electric motorcycle company, called Revolt Motors. They earlier held about a 34% stake and now they will increase their holding from 34 to about 100%. Now about Ratan India Enterprises, well this is a company which appears to be making a lot of investment in new age technologies as well as new age businesses. So they have a presence in e-commerce through Coco Blue Retail which uh, supplies, which is a supplier to Amazon, uh, plus Coco Blue helps many of the startups on Amazon scale up their business. They have the presence in electric vehicle through their investment, now 100% in Revolt Motor. They also have a fintech company called Banksy, and they're also present in drones uh, called Neo Sky India Limited. Uh, but if you look at the numbers, you know, there isn't much you can glean out from there by way of a trend. In Q1, their top line growth looked very solid, 689 crore, but there was a big loss of 216 crore. Well, this is an account, a lot of the loss, 207 crore of that in terms of a loss was an account of their 20% holding in Ratan India Power. Now, this holding of 20% is classified as an investment. So if Ratan India Power at the end of, on 30th June, closes at 4 rupees, while on 30th Mar 31st March, it was at 5 rupees, then that 1 Seven. rupee decline in Ratan India Power gets accounted, and that's a notional loss on account of the stock price fluctuation. But even if you adjust for that, you know, notional loss, you're, this is still a loss-making company on a top line of about 689 crore, almost 700 crores, you would say. The market cap is close to about 7,500 crore, which basically means that the, you know, stock is trading at a market cap to revenue of almost about 2.7 uh, you know, times. And again, as I said, not much you can glean from the history because it just started making money. FI22 revenues were 14 crore. Um, in FI20, it was... Less than yeah. <laughs> okay, so interesting data there. So the stock is doing well, but important to look into the financials and take a deep dive as well. Reema, thank you for that. Uh, moving on, life insurance data for the month of September is out. Yash is here with all those details. Yash. Well, Sona, let me start with the industry numbers in the month of September itself. For the life insurance industry, the September premium is up 17% year on year, 11% on a month on month basis, and year to month it's up 38%. Decent numbers. Private life insurance industry, uh, the September premium is down 9% year on year, up just 4% on a month on month basis, and year to month premium that is up 23%. There's a clear discrepancy in how the total industry is performed, which is strong and private life insurance companies performing weak. The, the main hero of the story here is LIC. Very strong performance in the month of September. The villain certainly are the private life insurance companies. So for LIC, the September premium is up 35% on a year-on-year -year basis, 14% on a month-on-month -month basis. Year-to-month premium is up 46%. And September retail AP, that is down about 2% on a year-on-year -year basis. Talking about HDFC Life, uh, the private life insurance company, September premium down 21% year-on-year, up just 5% on a month-on-month -month basis, year-to-month premium again up just 5%. September retail AP is up about 2%. ICSA Potential Life, September premium is down 4% again year-on-year. -year. September premium month-on-month -month is down 0.7%. Uh, year-to-month premium up 14%. Retail AP down 5% year-on-year. Max Life September premium is grown by just about 3% on a year-on-year, 17% -year, on a month-on-month -month basis, year-to-month premium is up 9%. And finally, September retail AP, that uh, is down about 3%. Finally, SPI Life Insurance, September premium down 15%, year-on-year uh, -year, down 8%, month-on-month up 27%, year-to-month, and retail AP also down 2%. So private life insurance companies, losers, LIC showing a strong show.
Thank you, uh, Yash, for that. With that, we're out of time on Mid Cap Radar from the entire team. Thank you for watching.